Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do that, watch out for spam, WhatsApp, in the comments down below. Also, if you would like to join VIP, where well, I alert the plays that I get in and out of at the drop of a dime, you can do that as well. Get your free stock down below with We Bull and Robin Hood. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. So AMC going into next week. I know a lot of people still have AMC on their radars. It's a lot of people that's about to swap out quality companies for more AMC, being for the fact of the percentage of a return. That it could do in a short period of time so let's go ahead and take a look at it guys so amc ended friday at eight dollars and ten cents up over uh eight point eight percent on the week up over 43 percent on the month and down over six percent on the three months and still down over 58 percent on the year guys but let's go back to one month so we see amc is up over nearly almost 50 percent on the month guys we know amc came all the way down to the to that low five dollar range near the fours and now we're almost up 50 percent from that point amc had one of the biggest months more than one of the biggest year months since in december right here the beginning of this month december 1st was the best day amc have performed since may we haven't seen any type of volume like that no type of spike Nothing like what we just seen on last week. So something is definitely brewing here, guys. And as we know, uh, billionaire Mark Cuban just gave out a few stocks that he think you should buy. Like I say, just take that stuff with a grain of salt. Just because he said it, it don't mean nothing at all. But it's just the fact that he said it. So he did say that GameStop, and it's uh, caught my attention that he had majority mean stocks up there rather than other stocks because he know the potential of them in a short period of time. He had BlackBerry, GameStop, and AMC on that list, guys, as well as Coinbase and another one. And a few more, that, but I was just concerned with the meme stocks that he had up there. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a further look at AMC and we'll see what's going on. As we know, the volume is starting to pick back up. AMC started trending over on Twitter. Everybody's talking about it again. It's back on people's radar. And it's still at a very, very cheap price. It's still around the beginning of the stages. We know the beginning stages, in my opinion, is that $5. That was the best of the best, that $5. That was a whole 360 from, you know, that's the price I got in. 300 a uh, whole year plus ago from the beginning of it and then uh six seven eight dollar range anywhere below 10 is still an ideal price to be getting in on amc guys in my opinion not telling anybody to buy sell or hold just saying it's still an ideal a good time to be buying up under 10 because we know once it breaks ten dollars and 22 cents phew, AMC going to shoot off 40 50 percent in a single day possibly guys because there's no walls in between uh, ten dollars and twenty cents once it breaks ten twenty, all the way up to around the mid to the high teens, right around fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollars per share, guys. So as we also go ahead and take a look at the futures market, like I told you guys, we can get a little indication on how the overall market could do going into next week by seeing what the futures is looking like. Stock futures are a little change as investors into a quiet period ahead of the Fed's December policy meeting. So U.S. stock futures are a little change on Sunday night as traders enter a quiet period ahead of the Federal Reserve's December policy meeting, guys. So as we know, the Fed's could possibly be less aggressive with hiking interest rates in December, being for the fact that we know inflation has came down drastically, guys. Everything's cheaper. These companies is panicking, trying to have sales, get rid of some of this overflow of inventory that they have so we definitely is looking for things to start to pick up here but the market is still in a weird spot guys and what i mean by that is this market is still vulnerable to come after all that headache all that falling all that crashing it's just wild to even think that it could still come down the market could still drop another 15 20 percent from here that's why i advise you guys to be very careful cash is a position sitting on the sidelines sometimes and just watching is also a good strategy so with that being said guys i want you guys to be prepared for anything and like i say the only way we don't go back down and close that gap field for the overall market 15 20 percent drop and for bitcoin drop down to 10k and we caught it from 50 60 000. that was a wild call but it's other people that caught it as well but anyways like I say, the only way that don't happen is things drastically change from here and we get over into a bullish market and hold it and hold that. But if things start to, you know, something start to happen, you know how they could just pop COVID up out of nowhere, how they could just pop. They could just do anything. They just pop stuff up. If something pop up, best believe the market is going to have that correction, close that gap. And after that, whew, it's going to be like taking candy from a baby. 
Because after that, it's like that's still in the back of investors' mind and day traders, people that's reading technical analysis. They still know that's that's possible. So that's why they're not being aggressive as they would if that gap go ahead and close. So you already know what to do, man. Add your boy on Instagram at the Behave Show. I love y'all. Get in VIP and we.